seconds of the Google Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snips, and today is Una's honest anniversary today. Well, no, it's not. It's the 20th of December. Una's honest anniversary passed back in November. Yeah, this video's late. I'm so sorry about that. For this video today, I'm going to be doing like a remake of an old artwork I did back in 2020. I did this video right here where I turned um, Una's and Anna's into dragons. But I didn't really particularly like how the dragon turned out in the video. I kind of did, but I kind of did it. So I'm actually going to go back in this video today to actually kind of do some changes with the dragon again. But this time kind of bring in what I wanted to put in in that video go check it out links down in the description below or in the icon card on whatever the side is going to be and on this video and yeah let's go ahead and remake it so let's go before we get started with this video once again i must remind you guys that my editing style is based on both mariah elizabeth and graveyard loon uh, editing style okay you got that Wait, what? Good, we're moving on. So now it's time to grab out my big sketchbook. Yes, it's nice to get back to the thing. Let's open it up to a fresh new page. Ignore all of those filled up page already. So once I get to a fresh clean page that I have in my sketchbook, grabbing out the supplies I need and get to work. So it, this part is where I started planning for the full artwork that I'll be doing in this video. Now last year, I did an artwork where it's just an hourglass with two skulls in it. Go check that video out. But this time around, I, I really wanted to go back to the very beginning. The very first drawing I did for Una's Honest. Now when the channel was still around, I did a dragon video where I turned the whole channel of Una's Honest into a dragon. I personally didn't really like the end result of that dragon. There was some parts I liked about it, but there was some parts I didn't. So I wanted to, so I wanted to remake my Una's Honest dragon this year while still bringing in my tribute to the channel. Even though the anniversary have already passed us, I still want to pay my respect to the channel. We only have a limited amount of time on this planet, so let's make it count. I did some thumbnails on the left side of the page, and moving to the right of the page, I decided to sketch out how I wanted to look in the end, but I ended up not spending too much time on it because, let's face it, I'm not going to use this sketchbook. So let's go ahead and grab out the paper I'm using for this video. This is the Strathmore watercolor paper that I've gotten from Walmart one day. Now Strathmore may sound familiar to you guys. If you've seen my testing marker paper, Strathmore um, also make marker paper, so I guess go ahead and check that video out. But anyway, enough of the marker paper. I just noticed this mark on my sketchbook. Someone really wanted to uh, test out the marker on this. I don't remember where this marker streak came from. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I opened to the first page of the sketchbook and started sketching in the whole art piece. Now it's here where I started to draw out the figure of the character and get a general idea of where I want the character to be. I start with general shape of the creature before moving on to the total drawing. I also added the swirl in the background of the drawing before going ahead and adding the detail to the creatures. Also, don't forget the hourglass in this whole thing. Would the dragon be called a wyvern at this point? Or is there a different name to call the thing? Now it's time to get into the detail work on this dragon. Now I do believe the original drawing did have skulls on the face, kind of like how Scully has a skull mask, although this time with this dragon, the skull mask isn't removable. Now. This dragon, it has like a snake body, so just like the original, I, I kept that. There's a few other things I didn't keep, like uh, the scorpion tails, I didn't like that. So once I finished with the um, kind of like the detail of the dragon, I went ahead and added the detail to the hourglass. This is giving me so many memories of Lathia drawing, which is one of my favorite drawings that I did for Guna's Honest. So let's go ahead and add in the final details of the dragon. And once the drawing is finally done, I went ahead and pulled out the watercolor pens that I'm going to be using for this video. These watercolor pens are called the Hipstis Watercolor Brush. I really hope I'm saying this correctly. It also come with the blending watercolor brush that will be totally useful in this video. Before we get started, I need to fill up the blending brush first with water. How long is this going to take? And once it's filled with water, it's time to get to work. I went ahead and picked out the colors that I wanted to use for this drawing and put away the one that I didn't need for this video. 
one eternity later. Once that is done, it's time to move on to the coloring of the dragon. There's no general pattern in, in where I'm starting. I start in one area and then move on to the other place. I don't like staying in one place for too long. I need to move around, so you'll see me just start in, in random places in a drawing. But I will end up with a finished product. Now while I was working, I did end up making a mistake. When I was filling out the allograss with gray paint, I added the filling in to where the fin would be on the dragon. So I later went over with paint, red paint, but I never really kind of fixed it. I just kind of hid it with red paint, but you can still kind of see that mistake I did. But I never went back and fixed it. But the good news about this drawing, that the only mistake I ever did was drawing. Now I will tell you this, the watercolor pens are something to get used to. I have used watercolor palette before, but I feel like to me, the watercolor pens are a bit more easier in my opinion. But like I mentioned before, they are something I need to get used to. I still ended up with the color mixing with each other. Not too badly where you can see it, but if you look closely, you can probably notice it. Okay, remember when I mentioned that the allograph is the only mistake in this video? Well, I feel like that the horns are also a mistake too. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like how the horns turn out or do you think the horns should have been a different color? I added the color to the wings and once I finished the background with Posca pen and adding my name to this drawing, this dragon is finally done. So here it is, the final like result of the painting. Now, I'm not really good at watercolors, and this is my first time using watercolor pens that I found off of Amazon. So if you want to get these watercolor pens, I'll leave a link down in the description below for these guys. Well, the watercolor pen. The sketchbook I found at Walmart, if you want to get the uh, sketchbook. But overall, I'm actually really happy how the dragon actually turned out this time around. I like the last time I wasn't particularly happy with. This time I am happy with it. I still added the red that I wanted to add and I made one side uh, lighter and the other side darker. Which that was one that was my intention the last time. But I did it I made them red instead of uh, black and white like I wanted to. I don't know if I still have the original drawing the this time around. But anyway, that'll be it for me. If you want to check out last week's video, it's right over here. And if you want to check out this video over here, go right ahead. And I'll see you dragons in the next video. Bye dragons! All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clear